Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another animation look through. This one is my, one of my first two earliest cartoons I ever made before I did the Sergio show. And it's called Cartoon Face and Cartoon Character Meets Cartoon Character. So let's begin. <clears throat> before I start though, I do want to bring up something. The original uh, animation files for these were gone a long time ago. With Cartoon Face, uh, I used to just scan these uh, post-it notes that I had and bring it into Toon Boom, but I would oddly enough not scan it to this original size. It was like um, like eight and a half by 11, and then it would have to stretch it out to fit into the frame, and at the time the frame was not 16 by nine, it was four by three, the aspect ratio. And uh, same thing goes with um, cartoon character meets cartoon character. So what I did was I took the current uh, form of videos that I have for both of them, took it to an editing software, export them as uh, single uh, images per frame, each frame of the video as a, as a still image, then import them to Toon Boom, and that's what I have here. So it is the animation, but rebroken down and put into Toon Boom. Which is no problem because uh, with this one specifically, it was just one image at a time. So I'm just going to show you a little bit. I think it was just one frame of this stretched to here. And also, since I have it set up like this, I could do what um, this. I can draw notes, anything extra, so this will be nice to show you how to break this down by, by literally breaking it down and putting it to Toon Boom and then showing it through a slider right here in the timeline. But it was like this first frame held for a couple of seconds by yours truly. And if you notice, I'm going to show you some details. But uh, if you listen to the commentary, it was, this whole thing was like an early test on how to make animation for myself and drawn in this case where I just took, again, post-it notes and a pencil and drew it one frame at a time and put it into Toon Boom and I did a cycle which I'll show you right now but you can see here that originally I had the eyes looking like that I think because yeah that was the previous frame excuse me that was the previous frame and then instead of redrawing it I was like oh, let me just erase it and do that <laughs> oh no no uh, by the looks of it I think I yeah Yeah, now after relooking it, after it's been it's been like uh, thirteen years, I, maybe fourteen. Was it two thousand seven? No, early two thousand eight. So yeah, I must have done it again. But then I set the pupils to this, erase it, then do it like that. So okay. So yeah, by yours truly. Do and then we're gonna get to the blinking. Yeah, I I do have memories of me just. Getting a post-it note and just drawing a face. I just wanted to do something fun and simple. And I'm like, let me do a face. But I wanted the, the video to last a little bit longer. You can see some dirt, smudges, and even maybe the peelings of the graphite right here. Of this thing. And here and here. <laughs> Look at all this dirt. All through this face. <laughs> Yeah, so that's cute. So I just had it like blink and then I recycled it. I think I just copied the frames and just pasted it when I did the cycle. And I was like, okay, let me do uh, opening mouth. I, I was aiming as I went along. There was no storyboard. I was just playing with um, notepads and a pencil. I just wanted to practice faces. So I was like, let me just take that and animate it into a smile. Like you see, you look at him, now he has a head. <laughs> That's a way to get ahead in life. <laughs> uh, yep. You can see like little pencil marks here. And uh, not a little bit of dirt. Oh, look, it went off by a frame, this one. A little bit. 
it is oddly enough like a flip book come to life since we all have taken like notebooks, notepads, side of a book, and just made like a little flip book here. I was like, after I animated this, I was like, mm, what should I do next? Uh, let it look around here, here, and then I'll uh, make a nice funny face of it yelling. <laughs> it doesn't move smoothly. I mean, this is 12 frames per second, but the way it goes from here to the face is uh, a, little, a little bit choppy. If you hear any like noises like that, that's my son, Chunks, being a dog. You know, like, mm, look at this. Mm, oh, I feel really good. I feel relieved. <laughs> then he did that smile, and I'm like, ah, let me fade out or have it disappear. So I draw it, just poof. Well, look a little. It's weird to see the in between frames like this. <laughs> this. Oh. A little one, and then poof. And I think I just did flip this over, turn it around. Then this, and there you go. So as you can see, this is cartoon face. Um, I think it was like 300 frames. Not, <coughs> excuse me, not all of it is uh, hand drawn. Hand drawn, yes, but uh, not an original drawing. It would have to be. Um, you know, recycled uh, uh, animation here. But, you know, hand-drawn. Another example of some of my hand-drawn greatness before I transition to um, the form of animation that I use the most, which we're going to get to in the next um, look through right now. Okay, here we are. Cartoon character meets cartoon character. Now, after doing um, that, I knew Toon Boom can combine other forms of animation given the right layers, as you can see. So, when I do one where I hand draw animate one cartoon character full body, but it's also interacting with um, a digitally made uh, keyframe puppet cartoon, you know? So, that's what I did. The easy part, oddly enough, was the hand drawn animation part just because it had control. And I wasn't the only one making it, as you can see. I just, obviously, I just drew this and just repeat it, repeat uh, the cycle. But the thing I do want to bring up is that in this case, I didn't have any more uh, post-it notes. What I did was, I think I took computer paper, cut it into a square so I can get more paper out of it. Because I think I got in like four, three or four squares out of, out of one sheet. For that four by three aspect ratio sheet of paper, and uh, got a couple of those because this was going to take more frames and drawings, and uh, also had some help with this. Let me see if I can. Yep, it was me. But then later on, I was like, I need help from from my friend Juan and my little sister. Neither of them knew the animation process. I didn't. I don't remember what they drew, or maybe I do. You, when we when we go through it, we'll see. There's like a little eraser mark here. Also just done in pencil. Yep. You can see little creases here, dirt here, line over here. And how each frame pops and look. <laughs> this huge pop from here to here. Oh man, over here. Uh, I, there was no onion. I don't know if I no. I had a light light uh, table to help me. A little of those like light table things for tracing. Did have that, but it still didn't work. And you're gonna see later on how messy it was. Okay, I blink. This one. This could be Juan or my sister, but this part I did not animate. But I th I remember. I think I drew this, then, no, wait. I think, yeah, I think I drew one of these key poses. Could be this, this one, no, this one. And then I made a couple of key poses here, maybe. 
and I just told Juan, I think it was Juan, to animate the arm going down, and I drew this pose, and um, yeah, Juan drew that. Juan definitely drew that, I drew that, I think. I drew that, I, I don't remember, so I'm just guessing. But yeah, Juan, I think Juan drew some of these frames. <laughs> like, this thing couldn't stay still when, the, when it went down, but it looks funny. It looks hilarious. So I think after that part was animated, I looked at it. I'm like, let me just animate this character going like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> Those couple of frames. Like, what? Oh, what just, what just happened to me? <laughs> but that's fun. It was still a cute set of drawings here. Oh, I think maybe, oh, maybe I did just drew the arm here. Yeah. It's coming back to me. I just drew the arm like that. Going down. I told Juan, draw the rest. Uh, except maybe up to here. Um, he, he, he did his best. It, it still came out really funny. Even I made a mistake. Look at that racer mark. They didn't animate the, the, the puppet character part of what's coming up. Zooms that and makes poof. Because I wasn't ready to, to animate, I think. No, I, I, I was learning to animate running. But we'll get to that. I do want to take the moment to just apologize. I had to stop there because I had a technical problem. When I was running through these frames, uh, the, the software crashed. Because uh, even if it's low quality, in this case, these frames are low quality, the low HD. But if you upload just too many HD photos into Toon Boom, it will crash and it will have pop-ups. And I'm like, oh. So I did have to take the time to remove... Um, a couple of frames not from here but from the previous uh, cartoon because that was like low HD uh, image still images so I had to delete that delete the frames and delete the scene so in order to continue so hopefully we won't be any more crashing but uh, we, we shall see so anyway as I was getting to running so you see he poofs away and at the, there's a part where he gets up. This one I animated. And by animated, I mean I just made one drawing of this character that looked like he was about to get up. And that whole up and down was actually, like, uh, use this tool. The uh, transform tool. One keyframe go, go, um, probably down off camera. And he just goes up. This was tweened up. You know, I didn't hand draw this character frame by frame going up. I just used the uh, keyframe tool for this. And there's this character, oh boy. I do want to break down a little bit about this character. <laughs> oh, that's like, like, he's like, oh. Could my sister have animated this? No. Maybe, right? Maybe the arm? I don't remember. But, um, yeah. <laughs> he, he's like, Whoa! <laughs> oh, me! Hey, 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 nice to see you. Hey, hey. You kind of look like me. <laughs> now, I, I, I do want to point out something about this character. At the time, I fully did not understand keyframe puppet animation, so I made the rig, but I didn't know um, how to animate this character coming together completely. I think there was a point where I just selected all. It, there, it, this whole thing was not in one peg. And a lot of these pieces were not inside the right peg. So if you notice, especially here, it's wiggling. It's wiggling and it's very out of place. And also, I, I don't think I properly understood the um, rotation tool. So that's why there are things like wiggling for no reason. Like here... You see how it's not keeping still? If, now I understand, but back then I was like, oh, there are moments where I go back, I'm like, oh, let me put this back. No, oh, I missed it. Oh, good enough. Uh. Oh, but this is this was fun. It's, I just, I first did the hand-drawn animation part first, so I did, like, focus on the eyeline a little bit. Since they're going to be the same size, did that. It just animate arm going up and down. Up and down. <laughs> Look. Okay, oh, how to place it is, but it looks very funny, and it was a nice like ex early experiment. Excuse me, just lost my place, and you can see 
A couple of things out of place. A shadow of the paper. A couple of eraser marks here. It's funny because this stretches out, but this one didn't. So I did have to like move it a little bit to match the handshake interactivity. Because it was also fun to like play with these both uh, forms of animation together and get the interaction just right. And since I, you can see, I did not animate his face. He has very expressive face, but he's just so static and stiff, which was the intention at the time. I just want to know how to do this. Now this is now we're getting to the running part. And as I, as you can see, I was, I think I learned how to animate running here through a not a book. Actually, a piece of paper from an animation toy that I found, but I didn't fully understood it because, if, as you can see, it's only it's like it's like limping. It, it goes. I got I got the step one step right where it's like correctly where it would go here, but it was it's all out of order and it's only I think only doing the left foot, so it does look like it's like flipping its legs around to to walk. And when you get to this one, I was trying to like match the poses on that one, but you can see how uh, messy it is. It's like, oh, you see again, the, it's disjointed. I don't think I, I put the peg right correctly and didn't focus on this that much. And uh, yeah, and look, a little bit of outlines out of place too. So also, it's really funny how you see him get ready because I think I'm trying to get ready for the pose but give him some space. But that's why he like really doesn't stay still. I think there was a point where I was about to make him run and he, and I put the keyframe in the wrong place and I didn't know why he was just moving around. So I think there was just keyframes of me just putting him back to his original spot over here. But instead it just had that wiggling boiling effect. It's the kind of same problem you, um, you saw in, uh, the Sergio show, why like things were moving and wiggling and boiling. Because I was trying to keep these keyframes still, not really understanding where to put the keyframes and to have it stay still properly. You know, when I did the breakdowns, I had that same problem too. So this was an early uh, 2008 problem that I wouldn't figure out until maybe a couple of years later. But as for the running, yeah, you got this leg pose, this leg pose, this leg pose, this leg pose. No, 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 no. And yeah, that came off a little bit off too, but that's eh, funny. So yeah, blank. So when I got to this part, I did want to do a joke. Where it's not really a joke. It's just like, I want these characters to fart. <laughs> I think my sister drew this. Yeah. Because it does look a little bit off of my style. Which is a fun detail to see. Yeah, yeah. This, this could be my sister. Because I was like, I think just wanted to move the eyes to here. And I just had my sister just animate the character just doing that. And I think I just drew the arm and she drew the rest to see how good that goes. Then I went, then I got back up here and there we go. You let one rip. And I love how they don't stay still. Uh, obviously nowadays it'd be easier to stay still, but it is charming to see this like flip book with the digital effects come to life. And this is the only thing in color with this one. Well, that one I hand drew that fart. <laughs> Very important to say. Look at all the stinky lines, and it was just frame by frame at a time. But with this one, I was like, oh, I can just draw one and make a couple of key poses. And then boom. I was like, high five. We both farted. <laughs> so there we go. And I just did the end effect, and it was in a cycle like that. That was just a stiff drawing. So it was it was a fun experiment, these two little lush. Uh, cartoons that would begin the series of uh events that would be my animation legacy oh before the sergio show if you want to know a little bit more if you haven't already audio commentaries my early animated work video and all that good stuff so that's what i just want to say about those two videos and how i broke it down and all that fun stuff and it's nice just giving it a different perspective and what i've learned and hopefully you understand if you've uh, ever experienced it or whatever, whenever you, if you want to get into animation, I guess. So it was just fun and insightful and just fun to look back at all this. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did going through this animation look through of 
cartoon character face, then cartoon character meets cartoon character. You know, those two videos I've said. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I am Sergio Dominguez saying, have an animated day.